Welcome to the Motorola Cellular Video Guide. Your phone puts the power of Motorola quality, performance, and convenience in cellular communications in the palm of your hand. Reliable performance to meet the demands of everyday use and sometimes even accidental abuse means the more you need a cellular phone, the more you need a Motorola. For most of us, learning to do even the simplest task is made easier if we see it demonstrated first. So, throughout this program, we'll show you just how easy your phone is to operate, as well as everything you need to know for daily phone use. If your phone doesn't look exactly like our demonstration model, don't worry. The steps for operation are exactly the same. Now, let's get ready to use your phone. Your phone's battery may not be charged when you receive it. So, put it through a charge cycle using your phone's built-in overnight charger. Once the overnight charge cycle is completed, your phone will be ready for use. Press power whenever you want to turn your phone on or off. As the phone powers up, it performs a split-second system check to ensure it's working properly. If your phone is locked, this is the first message you'll see. Your phone is programmed to unlock by pressing 1, 2, 3. If your salesperson changed the code to a number of your choice, enter it instead. If you make a mistake, press clear and start again. When your phone is ready for use, the on message will appear, along with the signal strength meter, so you'll know at a glance if you're in a strong or weak reception area. If display backlighting turns off, don't worry. Battery power is preserved when your phone is not in use. Just press clear to recall the display. Of course, if you receive a call, the display will relight automatically. Just press send to answer. Before placing or receiving a call, power must be on, the phone unlocked, and the no service indicator off. If no service appears, you're either outside the cellular coverage area or inside a structure blocking the signal. Just remember, no service must be off to use your phone. The send key is unique to cellular. For example, you'll use it to place a call and to answer incoming calls too. Hello? If you hear this when placing a call, it means the system is full and can't handle your call immediately. Pressing send will automatically redial the number for up to four minutes. If redial is successful, a ring alert will sound once. Just listen for your party to answer. You don't need to press send. If it's not, cancel at any time by pressing end. By the way, auto redial only works when the cellular system is full. So if you hear a normal line busy signal, press end and try again later. Because your phone remembers the last number entered, you can automatically redial the call by pressing recall send. Once your call is in progress, in use will appear. If roam appears, it means you're outside your home coverage area and your call is being carried by another cellular service provider. This is normal when you travel. But if roam stays on, even in your home service area, see your user's manual to reset your phone's system selection. When your call is finished, make sure you press end to terminate the connection. When you're done using your phone or must leave it unattended, Secure it from unauthorized use by locking it. To lock your phone, just press Function 5. 
If your phone features lock cancel, you'll see this prompt. Just press end to return to normal phone operation. Or you can complete the lock sequence by pressing store. The feature menu lets you customize phone performance to suit your personal preference or performance needs. For example, you can set up your phone to automatically connect incoming calls, eliminating the need to press send to answer. Open the feature menu by pressing function 1. Then use the pound key to scroll forward or the star key to scroll backward. until Auto Answer appears. Now press the Clear key to turn it on. The box-shaped indicator tells you Auto Answer has been selected. Now every incoming call will be answered automatically on the second ring. You don't have to press Send. If you don't remember which settings have been changed, just call up Status Review by pressing Function 0 9 and Recall. Then scroll through the messages by using the pound and star keys as before. When you want to return to normal phone operation, just press N. Programming frequently called phone numbers into memory opens up a variety of convenient dialing options. To program memory, Enter the number you want to save and press Store. Then select a two-digit memory location. Or press Star to automatically assign your entry to the next available memory location. If you want to identify your entry by name, type it in using the alphanumeric keypad. After each letter is selected, press Pound to scroll to the next position. If you make a mistake, use the scroll keys to make corrections. When the name is complete, press Store to save it in memory. A variety of options are available for convenient recall of numbers stored in your phone's memory. For example, to locate a stored name and number, press Function 3 to open the phone book. Then use the scroll keys to review the entries. And when the name you want to call appears, just press send. Your call will be dialed automatically. If you know the memory location of the person you want to call, speed dial is a quick shortcut. Just enter the location number and press send. Numbers stored in the first nine memory locations can be dialed even faster using one button turbo dial. To place a turbo dial call, just press and hold the memory location key for a second. You don't need to press send. It's important to know that the first position, key number one, is reserved for you to program an emergency number of your choice because you can dial it with one button speed and convenience even if the phone is locked. Just remember, emergency services and access numbers across the country and around the world can vary, so your local number may not work everywhere. Adjusting volume levels can add to your comfort and convenience. To raise or lower the volume you hear in the earpiece, press and hold volume until you hear the level you want. To change direction, release the button and press and hold as before. The volume meter will let you see, as well as hear, the highest and lowest settings available. You can also adjust the phone's ringer to receive incoming calls. Just press function and then press and hold the volume button as before. Your phone is also capable of reminding you of your own phone number. 
You can bring it up on the display by pressing Recall and Pound, even if you're in the middle of a call. Every time you place or receive a call, the signal strength meter lets you know if you're in a strong or weak reception area. Simply put, the more bars that appear, the stronger the signal and the clearer your reception. Your phone is compatible with a variety of optional battery packs, as well as charging units for at-home and in-car use. By pressing function 4, you can call up the battery voltage meter to see whether your battery is fully charged or ready for recharging. As your battery power gets lower, you'll see this message on the display. And when it's almost completely discharged, you'll hear this warning. If you find your battery is not being charged when you use the cigarette lighter adapter, it may be nothing more serious than a blown fuse. To check it, unscrew the adapter plug. If the filament wires inside the fuse are broken, replace it. While replacement fuses are readily available, make sure the new fuse has the same specifications as the original. While we've shown you the basics of daily phone use, there are a variety of features which haven't been demonstrated here. Please read your owner's manual carefully to make sure you get the most out of your new cellular phone. If you need further assistance or wish to offer suggestions about additional features you'd like to see demonstrated on video, please call the Cellular Information Center. Motorola accessories are designed for performance-matched compatibility with your cellular phone. So even if your phone looks different from our demonstration model, don't worry. Every accessory shown will be a perfect fit. Because you never know exactly when you'll need it, an extra battery is a sensible addition to any portable phone. For long life operation, Motorola quality and reliability are built into every rechargeable battery, including high capacity models for extended talk time. When you're away from home, the AC travel charger lets you charge any pocket phone battery overnight so it's ready to go again when you are. But if you have two or more batteries, you'll want a dual charging system that more closely matches your performance needs. The non-rechargeable alkaline battery pack is perfect for short-term operation. Just insert the six AA batteries included and your phone is ready to use. For frequent phone use in your car, just switch to the UltraSaver power adapter. Your car's battery supplies all the power you need while your phone battery stays ready for portable use. Driving should never take a back seat to a phone call, so Motorola lets you do both with a digital hands-free adapter, so you're free to take care of the business at hand. Today, total communication means you must be able to send and receive computerized information, even if you're away from the office. And Motorola Cellular is ready, with data units that let you hook up your computer modem or portable fax or fast cellular transmission and reception. To be sure your phone is data compatible, just look for this symbol. Motorola performance matched accessories are available from your local cellular phone retailer. To make it easier to tell your store salesman exactly which accessories are right for you, we've included this handy reference guide. Of course, if your store doesn't have the right Motorola accessory in stock, just call our toll-free parts and accessories number and ask for Operator 99. A Motorola specialist is ready to take your order for immediate home delivery.